Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 18 of the Dortmund career mode. Now we've got back to Champions League action in this one. It is the first of two legs. Of course, we are through to the knockout rounds of the Champions League. And now we're up against Valencia away from home in the first one, which could prove vital. But Jean Moutinho went very, very close there. Now they signed Jean Moutinho from Porto in the recent January transfer when it was actually the most expensive deal that went through. Uh, £14 million they paid for him. And like I say, he went very, very close there, as you saw with that lofted effort. But uh, I thought we'd gone 1-0 up there, but apparently Marco Royce fouled the goalkeeper or maybe handballed it as he went up with uh, with the jump. So uh, referee chalked it off and they got a free kick. So uh, we went in at 0-0 at half-time. And now uh, we'd been on top. They'd had a lot of the ball, as you would expect with a Spanish side. You know, they're stereotypically very, very good at keeping hold of possession. But uh, we'd had more of the chances and they made a change. They brought on Jonas for Nelson Valdez. And uh, I presume Jonas is going to drop to centre-forward and they'll push Soldado from centre-forward up to the striker role. But uh, Tino Costa went very, very close there. Um, Wiedenfeller making a great reaction save. To push that one up over the bar, and then I made a couple of changes myself, actually. Bring on Nangolan and Bender for Goetzer and Gundogan, just to freshen things up in the middle, because uh, the way they were running the round with the ball, they were kind of really, really uh, knackering my players out, and I needed some fresh legs. Then, unfortunately, Aaron Lennon, whilst tackling one of their players, sprains his knee, I think it's his sprained knee, and he's actually going to be out for four weeks. So not only have we lost Rodrigo to a broken ankle for three months, we've now lost Aaron Lennon for a further month as well with a sprain there, which is really, really disappointing. But uh, we get a great effort here to go 1-0 up. Lewandowski plays in Royce and just can't deal with the strength on the shoulder, the uh, the contact on the shoulder from, I think it was Adil Rami. But uh, unfortunately, blazes that one over the top. And then uh, he's going to get another chance here, though. This time does get the turn on Rami, gets away from him, and he's composed enough to be able to rifle it into the back of the net in the 75th minute to give us a 1-0 lead. And that could be absolutely vital because, of course, that is an away goal, which we previously mentioned. So... Uh, Maybe, maybe that could be uh, the goal that gets us through. Who knows what's going to happen in the second leg. But that is how it finished. That was the vital goal and the only goal of the game at 1-0. So uh, very, very pleased to uh, to come through that. And interestingly, we come up against Borussia Mönchengladbach next. And uh, they also had played midweek. And uh, actually played against AC Milan at home and beat them 2-1. So they were definitely weren't going to be a pushover. But... Our squad and their squad were both very, very tired, and we both had a lot of uh, squad rotation players. And I was actually playing Schmelzer at left mid with Luke Shaw at left back because uh, we just didn't have the uh, the strength in depth. But Sheba went close there with the effort. And then how how As uh, Esfine has managed to squeeze that in at the back post, I have no idea. But it's a fantastic header on the rebound to put us 1-0 up just four minutes in. And now we're actually going to get another chance here. Gertz could play a great ball over to Sheba. The defender can't quite bring it down. Sheba then has the strength to hold off the defender and uh, pushes it into the back of the net, past the goalkeeper, into the bottom corner. And st stereotypically, again, with FIFA just in the 45th minute. Then uh, we do go 2 0 up, and we had a great start to the first half. We're also going to get a great start to the second half. Sheba this time with the header from the rebound. Fortunately, he was onside, and it's just five minutes into the second half, and uh, we're 3 0 up. So, uh, again, because the game was, uh, you know, you would think out of reach at 3 0, then. Um, I thought, you know, we'll freshen things up again, make some more changes, and brought on Leon Bittencourt for uh, for Mario Goethe, so just again to just freshen the legs, try and keep him as uh, as fresh as possible. And that is a really tidy finish to bring it back to 3 1 from Hanka. He actually scored against us earlier on in the season for Bush and Mooch and Gladbach, and that is a fantastic tidy squeezed finish into that bottom corner just trickled over the line but it was all they could manage it was all they could muster and we do take a 3-1 win and uh, our run of form is actually very very good at the minute this is our last defeat on the 15th of February and uh, we actually went on a great run obviously they're motion glad about 1-0 in the cup and 4-1 3-1 4-1 that says 2-2, but of course we did win that on penalty so I'm going to count that as a win uh, then 2-1 over Hamburg 3-2 over Eintracht Frankfurt and 1-0 over Valencia and the 3-1 win that we've just seen. That's nine games unbeaten now. So we're going into the 10th one, trying to get a 10th game unbeaten in a row and we come up against Hanover 96. Now this was 
one hell of a game. I have no idea where this came from. We've been kind of dominating games and there haven't been many goals recently. Obviously the 1-0 over Valencia. We were fortunate to get a couple of the goals with rebounds against Hanover. But this game was jeffing nuts. Um, as you can see, we've actually managed to pull away a little bit from Fortuna Dusseldorf in the league. They've played a game more and are now two points behind us as well. So if we could pick up a win here, then that would help us close in the gap on Leverkusen. We're still four points ahead of us and we got off to a great start. It was just a time of just a case of waiting to time the ball across to Robert Lewandowski because he was going to be open at the back post and we went 1-0 up early on but then they were going to get back in it here forcing a good save out of Wiedenfeller to knock it around the corner for a corner and now they're actually going to whip it in it's Hussey I think and Felipe just my defence was absolutely nowhere he was just completely on his own I was in control of Felipe Santana and uh, I'd I guess I just wasn't concentrating properly, didn't change player, didn't even move Santana, just stood there and watched the ball come in as uh, Felipe with a diving header, really, really good header, and uh, they're back on level terms. And then literally just a few minutes later, before half-time, Mamed Baram Duf is going to break down the left-hand side. They're going to play it inside. Abdullahi, what a turn. Completely did me there with Nevan Subotic and slots the ball into the back of the net to give them a 2-1 lead as we went into half-time. And then... As we scored a goal early on in the first half, they're going to score a goal early on in the second half to give them a 3-1 lead. And it's Schultz. Now, uh, he shares the same name or the same surname as uh, that German guy from Django Unchained, which made me laugh a little bit. But uh, what a film, by the way. Absolutely amazing. But uh, anyway, we're going to make it. We're going to ming it. We're going to bring it back to 3-2 here. Marco Royce with a great effort. If if he'd waited a l any longer for that and tried to take it on his right foot, I think the defender would have got there. But the fact he took it early on his left gave... Uh, Gave him the advantage there and kind of surprised the keeper a little bit. So that was 3-2. Then I'm sure you can guess from the fact that I sped this up. They were actually going to make it 4-2 with an instant reply. And I moved all the way to the left there, to all the way to the right even, to try and play the ball to my right back. And it completely ballsed me over. It still played the ball straight out from defence. And Mame Biram Juf is able to... Uh, to profit from that, and I was extremely angry at the fact that the uh, the game mechanics had let me down there. But Marco Royce is going to just manage to squeeze this ball back across to Lewandowski to bring it back to 4-3 in the 77th minute. And that gives us 13 minutes to try and look for an equaliser. And we were going to get it just four minutes later. Royce into Lewandowski again, who's got the pace to get around shorts the defender. And a great finish. Much like Gundogan's finish in the last episode where he kind of pulled it back across the goalkeeper. This time the other way around, left foot into the bottom right hand corner a really really tidy finish from Robert Lewandowski really impressed with the way he's been playing recently we get a chance to win it here Bender squares the ball to Lewandowski but this time his touch lets him down and the goalkeeper's able to rush out to him get a hand on it and they do hook it clear so that one ends 4-4 what a absolute spellbounding game that was really really enticing to watch exciting to play and uh, I was on the edge of my seat all the way through, absolutely fist pumping when Lewandowski utilised. I was going nuts. But as you can see from the stats, we had a lot of possession, but they actually had more chances. So maybe we were lucky to come out of that with a point. But uh, our unbeaten run is intact. That's four. No, not four. That's ten games in a row now without defeat in all competitions. And uh, as you can see in the bottom left. The, uh, the next game is Valencia at home in the Champions League in the second leg. Now that will be a live commentary for the next episode. So do be sure to come back for that. And of course if you have enjoyed this episode please feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe. If you haven't put links on screen in the big window to the previous video in this series and in the little window to a random video from earlier on in the week on this channel. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.